All right, for our first set of packs, we are going to focus on the kitchen. And I'm gonna start with showing you how to use two straws to close up any plastic bags that you might have. In this instance, we have some pecans. Starting with two straws, you're gonna cut them to be just a little bit longer than the width of the bag that you are closing. And then you're going to cut a slit up one of the straws. Using an uncut straw, you're just gonna place this at the top of the bag and roll down. And then taking the cut straw, slide it over the top of the roll. And there you have it, all closed up. Next, we're gonna use a straw to create a DIY vacuum sealer. Vacuum sealing food items will keep them fresh a lot longer. So go ahead and just place your food item into any plastic bag. My tip for this hack is to get whatever you are using to lay sort of as flat as possible. It works better when the items are laying flat inside of the bag as opposed to all bunched down at one end. Placing a straw inside, you're gonna seal it up almost all the way so that just the straw is sticking out. And then you're going to suck all the air out of the bag. Pull out your straw and seal closed. Next for strawberries, we're going to use a straw to pop the top off of your strawberry. All you need to do is insert the straw from the bottom of the strawberry and push all the way up, pushing the tops of your strawberries off. Take your thumb and fold one end of the straw over. This is going to seal in any air. It's gonna make the straw a little stronger and make pushing into the straw a lot easier. Let's move on to some straw hacks for traveling. The first is to make single use packets. So all you need to do is cut the straw into the size that you want. This sort of depends on what you're filling this single use container with. But using something metal like some needle nose pliers, on one end, you're going to press this flat and then using a flame, you're basically gonna go ahead and melt one side closed. Then go ahead and fill this with whatever you're using. If you're traveling, you could do like single uses of toothpaste. You could do sunblock for going to the beach. It's also great for things like tailgating and camping because you could fill it up with different spices and seasonings. Once you have it filled, you just complete the same step on the other side, pressing it closed and melting it with a flame. Another great travel hack for straws is to cover up your razors. I don't know about you, but when I get my disposable razors, they come with the little protectors, but I lose those in about two seconds. So all you need to do is just cut a straw to the length of your razor, cut a slit up the center, and then you can put it over your razor to not only keep the razor nice and safe, but you don't have to worry about it slicing anything inside of your carry-on. This same trick really works really great to cover your knives as well. We've done a lot of tailgating in our times and, I was, and I've always been nervous to bring knives with me because it's not really safe to just have open blades inside of a bag of a bunch of stuff. This would also work for camping. So just taking a straw, cut a slit up the center and then you can slide it over the blade of your knife to keep it nice and safe and not have to worry about having sharp edges inside of your bags. Straws are the perfect thing to use for traveling with jewelry. There's nothing worse than putting your necklaces and bracelets into a little jewelry bag, and then you go to take them out when it's time to wear them and they're all tangled and it's a hot mess. To prevent this, you're just gonna use a straw and feed the necklace or bracelet through the length of the straw and then keep it closed. This will protect the length of the necklace and prevent it from tangling when you travel. Okay, this final travel hack is a little bit more of a straw DIY, but if you place a row of plastic straws between two pieces of parchment paper and melt them together, they create a surprisingly durable waterproof sheet. I think that this is a perfect travel foldable cutting board. Like I mentioned, we've done a lot of tailgating and transporting and finding durable cooking supplies is always really tricky. This is more than strong enough for cutting and because it folds up, it makes moving items from the board to the bowl or pot a cinch. Like I said, it's a little bit more of a DIY and actually there's a lot of DIYs that you can do with straws. So if you'd like another video that's just about DIYs using straws, give this video a thumbs up to let me know. Let's move on to some sort of like office tech hacks you can use for straws. I have a big pet peeve about unorganized wires. So I have two straw hacks that is going to help you with your wire organization. The first one will help keep batches of wires together. This one works best with a slightly larger straw. I got the smoothie or milkshake straws. And you're basically just going to start at one end and cut up the length of the straw, creating a spiral shape. So that when you're all done, the straw is still together, but it's been cut into a long spiral. 
You then can take batches of wires and you can wrap this around the groups of wires to keep them all organized and bundled together. Now, as far as knowing which wire is which wire, you can just cut small lengths of straw and with a permanent marker, just write whatever the item that wire relates to is. Cut a slit up the center, pop it onto the wire near the plug, the place where you usually don't know what this wire goes to. And then at a quick glance, you can always see which wire goes to which item. All right, now let's talk about protecting your wires. You probably know that these charging wires for your phones tend to be prone to breaking at the tips. And you can actually just reinforce them and protect them with a straw. Start by cutting a piece of plastic straw that's about an inch long and then slice it lengthwise. Slide it over your wire and push it up to the base of the charger where the wire tends to break or fray. Then just using a piece of tape, you can either use white electrical tape to match your charger, a piece of clear tape, or even colorful, fun Wasi tape. Not only would this fix a broken wire, but it also helps to protect wires from their inevitable fate of breaking and fraying. For our last set of hacks, we're gonna do some party hacks using straws. And I totally love this first one. It's how to make white lights into colored lights. So all you need is a set of colored straws, and then you're gonna cut them into small lengths, just about the length of each one of your twinkle lights. Then cut three slits halfway up each piece. This will allow it to fit over the light and prevent it from falling off. Then just pop this over the top of each light and your white lights are now bright, colorful lights. For this next hack, I've actually seen people use this just to make bracelets out of straws, but I thought it would be great to identify whose glass is whose. When you're at parties, you have a lot of the same glasses and you can never remember like, is this one mine or is this one yours? What you're gonna do is start by taking a straw and you're gonna feed it into a pencil sharpener and very slowly start turning it. Basically, I'm going to start shaving the straw so that you end up with a really thin spiral shape from your straw. You're gonna do the entire length of the straw you then can loop this around and connect the two ends together by sort of twisting them around and you've created sort of like a scrunchy circle like I said you could use this as a bracelet but I think it works great to slide over wine glasses you can make smaller ones or make larger ones to slide over regular glasses just to identify whose glass is whose now you can do a lot more with these sort of like shaved straws. I think these work really great as little bag ties too, like Ziploc baggies of cookies or treats, whether you're taking them into the office, taking them to a bake sale or whatever. They are surprisingly durable and you can tie, untie, and retie them many times over. You could even just use them around the house to close up items in your kitchen. All right guys, that does it for some of my favorite hacks using straws. It's kind of amazing. All the th different things you can do with something you thought was just for drinking out of. If you guys would like to see some other videos like this where I show you uncommon uses for everyday items, make sure to give this video a thumbs up or better yet, comment down below letting me know. Your feedback is always really helpful to me to let me know what kind of videos you're liking and what I should create more of. If you're not already following me on Instagram, you can find my Instagram right handle right here as well as my blog. But as always, I really appreciate you guys stopping by and watching. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you all next Sunday in my next video.